In this lesson, we shall talk about the product and quotient of square roots. If we have square roots, can we multiply or divide them? The answer is of course yes. We just have to recognize a couple of properties involved. For any positive numbers a and b, these two equations are always true. First, the square root of a times b is equal to the product of square root of a and square root of b. And the second, the square root of a divided by b is equal to the quotient of square root of a and square root of b. We could see that these ideas are true by looking at some examples. In example 1, we need to show that the square root of 9 times 4 is equal to the product of square root of 9 and square root of 4. Let us look at the solution. Note that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal to each other. In example 2, we need to show that the square root of 100 over 4 is equal to the quotient of square root of 100 and square root of 4. Again, let us look at the solution. The left-hand side and right-hand side are equal to each other. These two properties are useful when we are to simplify the square root of 2,500 and the square root of 900 divided by 81. Pause this video and try these on your own. Take a look at these solutions. In general, for any numbers a and b, square root of a times b is equal to the product of square root of a and square root of b. So, we could take a product under a radical and separate it into two radicals or the other way around. We could take two radicals that are multiplied together and combine them into a single product under the radical. The same thing works for division. So the square root of a divided by b is equal to the quotient of square root of a and square root of b. We could take the quotient that is under a radical and split it up into two radicals, or we could take two radicals that are divided and combine them into a single fraction under one radical. Now, remember, these properties work for any numbers that are multiplied or divided, but not for numbers that are added or subtracted. For example, if we have the square root of a plus b, we can't take that the radical is equivalent to square root of a plus square root of b. We can't take two terms under the radical and separate it into two different terms. The same thing with subtraction. We can't say square root of a minus b is equal to square root of a minus square root of b. Let us consider these examples. We need to show that the square root of 9 plus 4 is not equal to the square root of 9 plus square root of 4. Likewise, we need to show that the square root of 9 minus 4 is not equal to the square root of 9 minus square root of 4. Our solutions are as follows. Clearly, we see that the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. 